So that gets us to Jalen Hurts. Mm -hmm. So I thought Jalen Hurts was a mixed bag. I actually went back and watched a ton of third down throws and a ton of first down throws. So I saw a lot of Hurts dropbacks. Um, there's a lot there with Hurts. I mean, we could spend a half hour just talking about Hurts because um, he's a fascinating guy to watch. Because there are throws when he does it right, where there's a clear rhythm to his game. When he sets in the pocket with good balance, a firm base, uh, delivers the football to the right receiver at the right time. His throwing sequencing is strong. He makes precise ball placement throws. He looks really good. Um, that didn't happen quite enough a year ago, but it's there on tape. And we know that that's being worked on through OTAs and will continue to be worked on through training camp. So it's there. It can be done. Um, but there's also issues. Um, he's not very patient in the pocket. Um, he has a tendency to break down when there's not real pressure by NFL standards. And what starts to happen with quarterbacks that can move is they start to perceive pressure that's not really there. And then you leave throws on the field. Now, because he can run, he might run for 12 yards and people say great play. But ultimately, you don't want to play the quarterback position like that in the NFL. That does not produce consistency over time. Um, he needs some work with his footwork. There were times he would hop into his set in the pocket rather than plan his back foot with a firm foundation. And he would not be on balance. Uh, and you want to be on balance because then you're in better position to deliver the ball with proper timing. If you're not on balance and then you choose to make a throw, you're going to be a beat late because you have to get your body in, ready to deliver the ball. And in the NFL, fractions matter. Um, so I, I think that there was a, there were clear positives. When I was watching the tape, I went, wow, he does this really, really well. I, I'd like to see him do that a lot more. Um, and then there were too many others where I felt like he needs some work. Mm -hmm. but, it, but to me, it's, it, all this is coachable. This is not stuff where you say, oh, it can't happen. And, and the one thing that I definitely want to say, because I watched a lot of dropbacks, is there was clear and def definite improvement in Hurts in the second half of the season. 